standing by. Good afternoon, good afternoon everybody and welcome to the Sunset Safari on this, the very last day of May 2016 in the Common Era. My name is James Hendry, for those of you who don't know and for those of you who do, I'm sorry I have returned from leave, you thought you were rid of me, but alas you were incorrect, here I am. On camera today also returned from leave, Brian, the thumb, six foot four, Joubert. Returned from Johannesburg this very morning, we're fresh as daisies. We're wilting winter daisies, of course, and ready to take you on a sunset safari here in the middle of the iconic Kruger National Park. And you would have seen from the first shot there, things have become quite dry. Now, for the regular viewers, of course, you'll have been watching this and watching the grass go slowly from the sort of, it was a quite a nice autumnal green when I left, and go to this kind of much more golden yellow color that it is now. That, of course, will continue as we go into the dry season. It's only just about June, and so we've got another three or four months of dryness to come, and so I think things are going to look pretty rough by the time we get our first rains with any luck in November. I'm going to try not to talk too much about that because by the time those rains do come about, I will be hoarse from mentioning it. Now, you are on a live safari. If you're wondering who this fellow is blethering to you into the screen, you are on a very live safari in the middle of the Kruger National Park and we would like to talk to you. I don't wish to talk to you all afternoon. I wish you to talk to me as well. Hashtag Safari Live if you can tweet. If you're unable to tweet and are emailing, well, then send us an email at questions at wildearth.tv. Otherwise, just sit along and enjoy the ride. We're going to go and see what we can find. Not much found on Juma this morning. Uh, there are some beautiful buffalo bulls just sort of lying in the sun here. And they've changed their sort of modus operandi because they would normally in the heat of the day be lying in the water. Well, water, of course, not much water, mostly their own detritus. But that's where they'd be cooling down. And now, because of we're into the winter, they're lying out in the sun, enjoying the warm winter rays that we have here. And winter, of course, in this part of the world, an entirely relative term. For most of you, of course, winter is not a place you want to be outside during the middle of the day. But here, it's a balmy 24 degrees Celsius, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, must put us at around 75 degrees Fahrenheit. 76 degrees Fahrenheit. In the final control today, shouting at me when I get things like the Fahrenheit temperature wrong, Kirsten McKinnon-Smith, she's being ably assisted by Geraldine the Cheesecake Kent, of course, and I was very disappointed to find that Geraldine had not made a cheesecake uh, for the return of Brian and I. Brian, you were quite upset about that, oh, yeah, weren't you? I, I yeah. Really His face is a picture. Anyway, what we're going to do is go from waterhole to waterhole for most of the afternoon, see what we can find there, and uh, then we'll just figure things out as we go along. Here we go, Brian. Are you ready? Good. Well, Wendy seems semi-ready. Wendy is this recalcitrant old bag that I'm driving, and um, she, uh, she's still going, amazingly. I didn't think she'd last the next two weeks, but here she is, and off we go. Our first stop will be at Twin, not Twin Dams, at uh, Treehouse Dam. Hello, Aaron in New Zealand. Thank you very much uh, for your welcome back. Uh, not so many thanks for piling on the pressure at this early stage of our work cycle. Uh, you say that we're going to have to try and top. Oh, hello. Did you miss me? Yes, I'm sure you did. I cannot blame you. It's a buffalo bull, everybody. He's sitting very close to us, only about mm, four meters or so, 12 feet. He's very relaxed. He was very relaxed. He's decided that Brian and I are sufficiently unfamiliar for him to move off. Well, Aaron, uh, not quite the pangolin you were suggesting we try and top that uh, Brent, managed to, Brent and Dave managed to find on Cheetah Plains. What a wonderful sighting that was. Uh, but we did find you a buffalo, Aaron. Um, well, I think we'll call that quits, eh, Brian? Mm. 
I mean, we haven't seen a buffalo for a while. No, too no, a splendid sighting. And a red-billed oxpecker. That the, is the bird, everybody, crawling about on his head. And we often get asked about those white stripes underneath the eyes. Well, those white stripes from that very bird pecking away at the ticks and probably trying to get a bit of, at the flesh, the soft flesh under the eye. Righty. That was a wonderful first sighting, wasn't it, Brian? On we go. Come on, old Wendy. Here we go. Uh, during the course of the afternoon, remember, we are now gearing up for two TV specials that we're going to be doing with Nat Geo Wild in about two weeks' time. And we're going to be doing things like practicing advert breaks, which, of course, are going to be completely nonsensical. There won't be any adverts. There will be no break in transmission. I might just say, now we're going to go to an advert break. And then I will carry on the normal safari. And that's just so that we can practice what's going on. So we don't want, of course, when we are broadcasting to the television to make dreadful mistakes. No one wants that, do they, Brian? No. Not at all. So Treehouse Dam we are going to now via Ingwe Alley. Well, now, this is another interesting sighting. Brian, look at that. I haven't seen that before, have you? Nope seems to be an enormous piece of concrete that has made its way onto the side of the road here. Hmm. Some tectonic activity while we were away, Brian. It's an impressive rock slash piece of concrete. Not sure where that came from. Uh, oh, you may have wondered why I haven't announced who is on the other vehicle. Uh, the other vehicle is not going to be out this afternoon, I'm afraid. Uh, Stefan, the mystic winter farmer, is going to be on walk this afternoon. And that is because we're doing some running repairs on, on Jigger and Rusty. And so it will be me and Steph this afternoon. It will be, yes, that is the correct, correct English. And I speak of that. I speak of that. Where they say speak of the devil. Stefan, of course, a rather mystic angel rather than devil. Let's and find out what he's going to do this afternoon. Oh, well, welcome to one of the very first sunset bushwalks that we've been doing in a long, long.